Sea of Thieves Season 8 is now underway, and with it we see the return of a long forgotten curse, a curse requested by many pirates. This curse is the legendary curse. The legendary curse then, what actually is it? Well, surprisingly, it's a curse, and I know no one saw that coming, that was available in Season 1 of Sea of Thieves. We'll go through all that in a second, but first, what does it look like? Well, the legendary curse is phenomenally clean. It makes your eyes glow and you have an Athena emblem on your chest. A lot of people liked it because most of the other curses in the game are just really flashy, and so this is a change of curse, it's one of those subtle things. Often people wear jackets in the game, and so to have the eyes changed, you can't even see the emblem on your chest, so it's a really nice touch to your pirate. As I said, it was available in Season 1. It was in the Season Pass, not the Plunder Pass, so anyone can get it, but it was at Tier 100 and only for Pirate Legends. People wanted it back because everyone thought that, well, Something that exclusive, something that big of a curse, and especially for being Pirate Legend, shouldn't be locked behind a season pass of being time exclusive. So everyone called for it to be back, and the developers came out and said that they'll eventually re-add it. They don't want to add it just yet because they've got some really awesome plans for when eventually they do want to add it. It has now been a solid year and six months, if not over, since that happened, and now we have finally got it. So, how do you actually unlock it? Well, first off, you don't need to go to the new area of the Athena's hideout. This might be surprising, but it's in Legendary Luke's shop. It seems the new cosmetics for Athena have been split between Legendary Luke and all the new NPCs in the new area of the hideout. To get this curse, you need to be Allegiance level 105. This I do like, they're adding Allegiance rewards for going past 100 and not just at 100, because if you don't know, Allegiance isn't capped, you can just keep going forever. At Allegiance level 1000, you unlock the Golden Ghost Curse. This means that you do need to participate in the Guardians of Fortune battle though, siding with the Pirate Lord. Sorry if I'm out, folks, but that's what you gotta do if you wanna get this awesome curse. After you've done this, go down to the Pirate Legend hideout, speak with the legendary Luke, and it'll be available for purchase. Not 100% on how much it'll be, but it will not be more than 100,000 gold or 200,000 gold. It'll probably be less. It won't be an instant unlock. You probably will have to buy it. Although, maybe not. We've never really bought curses before, so I could be wrong here. Point is, you won't need that much gold to buy it, although most people do have some spare pocket change for things like this. There are going to be people who are really happy about this, but equally there are going to be people who are really mad about this and don't want it ever to see the light of day ever again. My opinion on it is that this is the best way to re-add it. I'm all for re-adding it because it didn't seem that big of a hype. No one really cares that you got this random curse in Season 1, and people just want to have it. If I look at someone with the Legendary Curse, which to be fair, most people won't even notice it if they're not on your crew, then I just think, oh, it's cool someone has it. I don't think, oh, you played in Season 1, you're really awesome. If I now see someone with it, my opinion's not going to change other than that, Oh, they look pretty cool and they've reached Allegiance level 105. Because it's good they've made it, I wouldn't say really hard to get, but certainly it requires grinding. If you see someone, you're actually going to think that they're skilled at PvP. You're never going to think anymore, oh, it was a free curse they unlocked at Season 1. You're going to think, oh wow, they've made it to Allegiance level 105, they must be somewhat good. It'll represent people's PvP skill without people thinking that, oh, you're really sweaty and, oh, you don't care about anything else but PvP, as with the arena cosmetics, which, to be fair, if I see a triumphant sea dog, I'm sorry, that's personally what I see and what I think. But now with this new legendary curse, it's a perfect way to show off your own PvP skills. So this is the absolute best way for them to re-add it, making it somewhat hard to get, not making it easy, and making it just in a shop, really. Now, I'm sure the question is going to be asked in the comments section, will anything else return? And the answer here is no. The reason why is that the legendary curse was never intended to be time limited. That may sound stupid, but it was a curse that wasn't put in the game to think, oh, it's going to go away after season one. It was something to entice players to play season one because season one was a brand new format for Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves wouldn't say it was dying at the time, but it was certainly on a massive low because basically development was really slowing down with it in preparation for a pirate's life and obviously no one knew what was coming. So everyone just assumed, oh no, the game's, well, dying. And so it was something to entice people back. They never intended for it to go away after season one. They only intended it to go away temporarily. 
temporarily and then bring it back during a future season, which they now have done and found the absolute best opportunity for it to re-add. So sorry if you missed out on something in the previous season, sadly that stuff won't be coming back. And a lot of people might be a little bit annoyed about this, but at the end of the day, they don't put phenomenally looking stuff in the season passes. They look, put pretty cool stuff in, but it's rare they add things that are really nice. Generally, the best things will be the stuff they have for Pirate Legends. They've added the Fairy of the Dam figurehead. This season, they've added Flameheart's Hat and Cutlass. Last season was Merrick stuff. The season before that was Bell stuff. Anyways, point is, they don't really add amazing stuff to season passes only a few select items but the legendary curse is by far the most requested item for it to return in the whole of sea of thieves this now means that every curse within the entire game is fully unlockable this i am a massive fan of and if they ever start locking curses behind either time limited things or season pass purchases from so the plunder pass or pirate emporium stuff anything that like that's so either it's time limited or you have to pay for it with real money i'm not gonna be a fan of that curses are probably the coolest cosmetic item in the game if we're thinking about pirates a year maybe ships are cooler but you get the point they're really just amazing stuff to equip and if you have one then everyone thinks you look just really dapper and so if they ever start locking things away like this as i say i'm not going to be very happy but it's definitely very good that they've added this back to the game so every curse as i say is now fully unlockable the gold curse the curse of the sunken sorrow ashen curse skeleton curse ghost curse gold ghost curse and now the legendary curse oh the curse of the order we always forget about that one that curse is a little bit irrelevant i'm gonna be honest Anyways, that does just about bring us to the end of the video. Let me know what you think of all this down in the comments below. Do you think the Legendary Curse should be added back? Have you got the Legendary Curse? And do you think they should add more curses to the game in general? And if so, what would you want to see? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, then please do consider leaving a like. It really helps out the channel an absolute ton. Subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest Sea of Thieves news as and when it comes out. What a really exciting point with the game. Season 8 is just phenomenal. It's honestly the best update we've ever had to the game, and so you don't want to miss a single bit of news if anything new comes out about the game, which I'm sure things will in due course. But anyways, apart from all that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.